So to start, Alice, being a game character, has perfect skin, and sadly I do not. So I just used a concealer to brighten my dark areas and cover some spots. And then I used my BB cream for the rest of my face. I followed that with a cream white pencil that I applied to the high points of my face and blended out just to help give a bit of a fairer complexion. For the eyes, I wanted to start by giving them some depth, so I used a chocolate brown color and applied it to my crease. After that, I went in with Sugar Pills Red Eyeshadow and packed that onto the lid and into the crease as well, carrying the color under my eyes at the same time. I went back with the darker brown on the inner and outer corners of the eyes just to help give them some shape so they don't appear as flat. Alice has pretty thinly shaped brows so I tried not to fill them in too thickly. I started with a soft brown color to get the shape and then went in with a black to better match her hair color. With the brows complete, I quickly lined the top of my eyes with a black coal pencil and blended it out with a brush. Her eyes have more of a smoky look to them, so I didn't want to add any liquid liner as it might look too harsh. And then I also carried the black onto the lower lashes and water lines and blended out as well. I want a better definition for the face like Alice has in game, so I used a cool contour color and applied it just under my cheekbones and along the jawline to give the illusion of a slimmer face shape. And then I followed that with a bright highlight for my cheeks and the center of my face and a warm tone blush for a bit of color. I also made sure to go along the sides of my nose with the contour color as Alice has a much slimmer shaped nose than I do. I quickly added a highlight to the inner corners of my eyes as well with a shimmer white just to help them pop a little bit more and stand out. And then I moved on to the lips. Alice has very warm and brightly colored lips that pop against her skin tone. So I went with a soft pink liner and then added a vintage pink lipstick over top. Then as a finishing touch, I just threw on some lip gloss to give an even brighter finish. For the body paint aspect, it's nice and simple in that only a few colors are needed. I started with a water activated white from Wolf FX and applied that down the center where her dress lines would be. The easiest way to get a strong white payoff is mix in just enough water so you get almost a creamy consistency to the paint. If it's too watery, you may have to do multiple coats and streaks are easier to get. For the shoulders, I just mix some of that white with my cobalt blue to get a softer color. The shoulders on her dress are actually billowy sleeves, so to help give that illusion, I used the cobalt blue on its own to start creating folds where the fabric would bunch. I realized I had never really done folded fabric body painting before, so this was a lot of just using reference pictures and making it up as I went. For the necklace, I used my black hydrocolor and a thin detail brush. I knew the black would blend with the white and give more of a gray color, but that's a great base for it. When you have a rough shape of what you want, just fill it in and then add the straps that would go up and around the neck. <music> to 
To help better define the white of the dress, I took a gray eyeshadow and blended that around the collar and along the sides. This will just help it look less flat and softer like real fabric would. Then with a black eyeshadow, I started building greater definition into the shoulder pieces by going over the areas I had sketched out in dark blue. I quickly jumped back to the white to add the stitch marks she has on her dress. Because of the gray shadow, I was able to use straight white to base them out. And then on the shoulders, I used a dark blue eyeshadow to give more impact to the fabric and help create highlights and lowlights on the folds. I used the same gray from before to better define the stitches by creating shadows along the edges. For the necklace, I just went in with some black and white eyeshadows to try and create the illusion of light hitting it, and then finished it with a white face paint for reflex. Last touch was to throw on a black wig, and that was it. 